Hi, my name's Amber. Um, I was asked to do a tutorial on my uh, geode wood grain cup. Bear with me because I've never done a video before, so I'm pretty nervous, but decided I'd give it a try. All right, so first, <clears throat> I just wiped down with a 70% alcohol pad. This is actually a Bubba cup and it's got this like rubber bottom on it. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but I guess we'll find out. All right. Hope you all took your drama mean. Probably going to get dizzy with how I'm doing this camera, so let me... Do my one full pump of part A and one full pump of part B. And I actually just got these bowls today from Walmart. It's actually a collapsible dog food bowl. <laughs> But it's silicone and ah, I need muscles, y'all. Anyways, I was using, I've actually got two. I was using these little silicone pinch cups and those were too small. And then I got these like silicone cupcakes, cupcake things, too small too, so. Actually, my husband is the one that <clears throat> suggested that I go um, and get these bowls, which, I mean, they're big, but better than being too small and spilling my epoxy all over the place because I'm super messy. So, okay, after, after I get my pumps, I stir it up. And I'll actually take my heat gun. And heat it up just a little bit. Sorry, y'all. God, I can't get this. I can't get this camera to fo put where I want, where I can see that it'll focus. And man, I'm trying to show y'all the bowl. All right. Anyways, I stir it until it's not cloudy anymore. And heating it up just kind of helps to break the tiny bubbles that are in there. Okay. So now let me get you guys set up 
to where you can see me do this. Hang on a second. Okay, there. Finally figured out a way for you guys to be able to see while I'm doing this. All right, so another glove on. Um, okay, so I did one pump of part A and part B, and now I'm just going to start putting my epoxy on here. So once I get it pretty well covered is when I will start putting on the glitter, which I really, I haven't decided yet what um, colors I'm going to do. Really, I don't even, I never have a plan. I just end up throwing a bunch of glitter together. And it comes out super pretty. Oh, I have a baby, and y'all, he just woke up. This is awful timing. Oh, I might have to bring my baby out, yeah. My hubby just left to go to Walmart, too, so. This is the only time I can do videos, because my baby is, he should have been a girl. He is so needy and so high maintenance. Not just mama though. Yeah, y'all meant to go get him. All right, hopefully this doesn't mess up. I meant to put you guys on pause for a second and pick back up when I bring the baby out here. Shoot. Sorry guys. Okay, I got the baby. This is gonna be super awkward and super hard because I'm feeding him, but I knew that this was not going to be good if I just let it sit, so I've got to get it on here and hopefully I don't, I don't get it on him and I in the process. Um, I mean, I guess this doesn't have to be a perfect coat anyways because I'm, you know, I just do it to, um, for the glitter to stick to, which when I first started doing glitter cups, um, I just put Mod Podge, honestly, on on the cup and then put the glitter on, but I don't know, this is, it is, they just come out so nice, they're so pretty, like I said, I'm still new, I really, honestly, I haven't, this is my sixth cup, probably, and I'm freaking doing a tutorial, so, probably won't work out for me. Okay, and I was, you know, taping the tops and the bottoms of my cups, but I just, I don't know, I have an awful time with epoxy somehow getting underneath the tape and then having to go back through at the end, and it's just a pain, it really is, so I've started just um, doing the whole cup now. I know people, you know, they gave me tips and stuff, but... I'm going to start spinning this. No, this is not easy. So once you have, smart, right? Not gonna work. Okay. All right. So, hi. What are you doing? Okay, so I think I'm gonna do, let me stop this. Can y'all see that? 
Okay, so this is where I put my glitter on. I think I'm gonna, I'm doing this yellow. Now how am I gonna turn this? This is not a good idea, y'all. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, I'm just trying to figure something out. This is ridiculous. Okay, so I put the baby down. He, we'll see how long he lasts, but okay. Back to putting the glitter on before this stuff dries and it does mess up. So I'm doing these yellow stars and it's in like this little um, iridescent glitter shapes from Recollections. And it's got what, six, five different colors in it. Like I said, I'm not going for anything. They all turn out different anyways. Okay, so yellow, let's do orange. Yellow stars, orange hearts. Um, I know some people make sure that like their glitter is laying down, but I think it was Susanna that said she just she thinks that the bumps from the glitter give it uh you know character and I agree so I don't even I mean if they're sticking if some are sticking up I mean I'll push them down but if it comes out bumpy um it's fine with me it doesn't bother me so what else should we do Green? No, because that already looks like green in there. We'll do this light pink. No, we'll do dark pink. Hot pink. The chunky glitter is really what um makes them pop out, I've seen. Um, I was going to actually try to do it with... Um, the really fine glitter and just see, but not for this tutorial, just in case it didn't turn out. Then, actually, I might add some in there right now. Um, what should I use? Okay, I'm gonna use my orange and yellow um, recollections glitter just to see. This orange is so pretty. I put it in like the very first cup that I made. After I epoxied it, it you couldn't even tell that it was orange anymore. But it was so pretty. Now, personally, I don't know if you. You know, when you do the geos, if you're supposed to, you know, um, not have a whole lot of cups still showing, um, I don't know if that matters or I can't see that it would matter or not. No matter what, I really don't think that you can mess these cups up, honestly. I was trying to ask my husband, what color should I do? He's like, just play around. I'm like, that's what I always do. I don't want it to end up looking like the same, the same color as before. Oh, shoot. Really? I opened up the wrong end, you guys. There. My bottles are going to be all epoxy together. I think I need to add like some blue in here or something. I just, like I said, I didn't want it to look like the other ones that I've done. I wanted to do something different, I guess. Seems like pink and blue, you know, that's what I always resort to. Pink and blue, pink and blue. 
I'm not even a pink person at all. I hate pink. Purple, I love. All right, blue. Yeah, we'll add this blue in there. Give me a couple more seconds. I'm going to stop this video anyways because I um, can't do everything right now. That's the only bad thing about these cups is, you know, they do take longer. But it's so worth it. So worth it. I've got epoxy all over my all over my gloves, so now this ain't gonna want to turn to get to my purple. Oh hi, sweetie. You being a good boy. Look you is being a good boy for mama. Okay, I got it, I think. Nope. There. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, just um, your first coat of epoxy, and then that's when you put all your glitter on. And then I'm going to let this cure for, well, I'll probably just, you know, in the morning when the baby gets me up. I'll re-epoxy it, so um, I will put this on pause and start it up again in the morning for the next process. So I'm going to show you all a close-up of what this cup looks like while it's going to be drying. Oh, and for the ends, you know, I... So here's where you could push it all down and like I said, I really don't care if it's going to be sticking out of the second coat of epoxy that we do. It doesn't bother me. It's fine. I do just try to get it off of the rim though. Yeah, see, I'd be here all day if I was just going to really make them lay down. Okay, and then, yeah, for the bottom, <clears throat> what I do is I, <clears throat> I don't know how other people do it, but I haven't found a better way yet, but all the glitter that I use, usually I'll put a paper underneath of all this so it'll catch all of my glitter and then all my excess glitter I put into my hand and I literally just like throw it up against the bottom. That's all I do. I don't know a better way to get it on the bottom. Let me know what y'all do because I mean this works. <laughs> Not all of it goes on there anyways. Yellow. I'm missing totally. I'm, yeah, I'm really not sure about this bottom, you guys, what it's going to do. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Okay. So, let me show you guys a close-up.
Hopefully your Dramamine has um, kicked in. God, I'm so sorry. Okay. So... This is what it looks like right now. So I'm gonna let that cure and put another coat of epoxy, but. So I will see y'all in the morning. Okay, so I was gonna wait until the morning um, to finish. And actually I wanna show you guys, when I shut off the video, I actually added um, purple and green, just the real fine glitter to it. Um, so it looks a little bit different. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, that obviously is still curing and it won't be done until the morning, but I did realize that, um, I started this cup and, and, um, this one, I did the epoxy and my glitter, let it cure, and then I put another coat of epoxy on this morning. Um, so this has been on the turner for well over 12 hours. It's been on all day. Um, so I'm going to actually show you guys the next step um, with this with this cup here. Which the next step is to spray paint it. I'm going to be using, first I'm going to spray paint it black. Um, just a matte black. And then I'm going to put this gloss rich plum on top of the black once the black dries. And then um, I'll spray this on once this dries. My last coat will be... Um, just a flat white. It's my understanding that the very last coat, whatever color you decide to do, um, has to be either like a matte or satin finish, I believe. Um, I think I've seen that in someone else's tutorial. Um, so anyways, these are the three colors that I'm going to be using on, um, like I said, the cup that I had already started. Um, so let's go spray paint. Okay, so actually before I spray paint, um, I, my husband and I, we live in Nashville, um, and he's actually a tattoo artist, um, and we were talking the other day about, um, me possibly trying to sell my cups, um, in his shop, so, um, I forgot that this cup here that I had started, um, I was going to try to put a... Nashville decal on it. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out, but um, so anyways, I'm before I put the spray paint on, I'm gonna put um, my decal on, and in case it does work, um, I wanted to do. Them. If not, then it doesn't. Whatever. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is backwards for you guys. It probably is, but so here is my decal. The only thing I'm not sure of is I'm not sure because I'm going to put this down right now in the cup um, at an angle and then I'm going to do my three coats of spray paint over top of it and hope that I can find each letter to take it off. Um, if I don't, like I said, not a big deal. I just wanted to try it out to see if we can um, get some cups going in his shop, so. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put the decal on real quick, and then we will go spray paint. Um, so I have a Cricut machine, which I love, and that's what I used to cut this out. <clears throat> So I'm going to try to see, I'm going to try to find a spot on this cup so that 
um, for a reference as to where I can attempt to pull it off. So I can see my mossy oak logo still a little bit down in through here. So I'm going to put it right here where I can, where hopefully it'll help me. So let, oh, it's not going to matter because it's going to have spray paint over it. Yeah, this may not work, you guys, but we'll try. Okay, so I'm just using my transfer tape to put my Nashville decal on top of the cut. Okay. I did just see a trick today on a video um, to put like a little piece of string at the very top of your decal. I don't sew or anything, so I literally have like no string. Um, but so there it is, you can barely see it. But now I'm gonna go spray paint over top of this and once all that spray paint dries, I will try to take off this decal. Um, and try to, you know, incorporate that into the geode effect. So, okay, let's go spray paint this. everybody's sleeping right now but it's the best time for me to do these videos so I don't know how I'm gonna hold this and spray paint at the same time so let me try something my husband knew I was spray painting out in the garage with my brand new car he just bought me he'd kill me I don't know how to do this y'all So I'm doing black first, and you just um, completely cover it. dripping but it's fine not a big deal okay so once you've got the black on then you just let that dry and we'll do our second color so I'll be back once this is dry to put the um, purple plum color on so um, it's been probably um, close to a half hour, so the black is dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and spray paint um, with this purple color.
again, um, completely cover it. My husband says I'm awful at spray painting, which I probably am, but I get too close and I usually always have a lot of runs and I'm just so freaking impatient. I usually don't like to wait for it to dry or I just spray too much on the first time. I can't even see out here. It's dark, so I'm probably going to have a lot of runs with this one, but Sorry, I know it's really hard for you guys to see, but I'll show you in a second. I think it's covered for the most part. And by the way, I could still see my Nashville decal through that black spray paint. So I'm hoping that um, that's how it stays um, throughout all the rest of the coats. Okay, so the purple is on. I'm going to show you. Let me go into the house so we can actually see. <clears throat> okay, so it's purple now. And I can still see the decal. Okay, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. And um, so I'm just going to let this purple dry. And then I will pick up in the morning with both cups and continue the video for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the morning in a couple hours. All right, so the purple's dry. And now I'm going to spray paint it all white. So if you've never done one of these cups before, when you spray paint it like this, um, you can see all the imperfections on the cup as far as like if the glitter is sticking out or, and I keep making this damn spray paint run, but it's fine. And I can still see my Nashville logo. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me set it down. Yeah, so you can see the Nashville logo. So, I'm pretty excited about that. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm going to end this part one video right now and upload this. And then, um, later on today or tonight when I can get away from both the kids. Well, after trick-or-treating now, I guess. I will do part two and I will actually do, um, both cups I don't know. I'll figure something out, but I'm going to upload this first part for you right now, I think. Um, so I'll see y'all later. Thanks.